A factory on a river wants to discharge its polluted effluent to the nearby river. The factory is proud of its pollutant removal technology, which it claims can remove 70% of pollutants from its effluent flow's initial concentration of 75 mg per liter. The river has an existing flow rate of 225 CFS and an existing pollution concentration of 1 mg per liter. The pollution limits in this river are not to exceed a concentration of 3 mg per liter. What is the max flow rate that the factory can discharge in million gallons per day so as not to exceed the river's pollution limit? So this problem is a pretty classic example of a mass balance problem that you would find in an undergraduate environmental engineering class. I don't even think there is an equation for it in the reference manual, but the closest I found is on page 460 if you want to see an example of a mass balance equation used for a slightly different application. The version of the mass balance equation that we want to use can instead be written as follows. Q1, C1, plus Q2, C2, equals Q3, C3. And in this case, Q3 is going to be a combination of Q1 plus Q2. So let's get into the problem. The question is asking us to find the max flow rate exiting the factory that will not cause the in-river pollution to exceed three milligrams per liter. So let's start filling in our knowns and then see what is left. Q1 is what we are solving for, so let's leave it as a variable. C1 isn't given directly, but we can solve for it very easily. The problem states that the factory is able to remove 70% of pollution from its effluent, which is given as 75 milligrams per liter. So if 70% is removed, then 30% is remaining. This means that just about 23 milligrams per liter is leaving the factory, which will be our C1 term. Note that these terms could have been C2 and Q2 as well if you had called the river's flow and pollution concentration Q1 and C1 instead. Speaking of the river, its flow and concentration is given directly and can also now be added to our equation. So the river's flow rate is 225 cubic feet per second and the pollution concentration is one milligram per liter. Now Q3 is going to be the sum of Q1 and Q2. However, since our goal is to solve for Q1, we have to write Q3 out in terms of Q1 and Q2. And since the upper limit of pollution is given as three milligrams per liter, that is going to be our C3 term. From here, we can simplify and solve for Q1 very easily. And see that our answer is about 22.5 cubic feet per second. And finally, since the problem asks us for units of MGD, we have to convert our answer. So 22.5 cubic feet per second times 7.48 gallons per one cubic foot times 60 seconds in one minute times 60 minutes in one hour times 24 hours in one day times 1 m gal over 10 to the 6 gal. These units will cancel out and multiplying this all the way through, 
will give us a final answer of 14.54 mgal per day. And we can see our closest answer is the third one over here. So again, this is a basic mass balance problem. All you have to do is set it up correctly and remember to answer in the correct units, and it can be solved. And finally, remember that dilution is not the solution to pollution.